Okay, so I am back to this closet. I went ahead and put all of my scarves in here. And what I wanna do is use this little thing in here for my hats and scarves and stuff like that because I had it all bundled up in this drawer here. And as you, you'll recall from my last video, I went ahead and put on my sunglasses and stuff in here. So I wanna clear out this and um, I have a lot of old makeup in here like stuff that I bought that just didn't work out for me. And I've had these, like I used to be into Estee Lauder like big time, but I've had these forever and I don't know why I don't throw them away. I mean, I'm not gonna use them and they're so old, like they, they probably don't need to be used by anybody. But um, when I first got into makeup, Estee Lauder was definitely the brand that I would use. I can't even open this. But um, yeah, so you can see I really never knew how to wear makeup, so I didn't use a lot of it. But these are just like old, old. And um, I did throw more of them away like this thing that I've had forever too and it's just little like I said when I first started wearing makeup this is what I wore and I didn't really use a lot of them but um I definitely need to just throw those away um the other stuff that I have in here is just that old perfume bottle I think I just really liked it for something just put like perfumes and stuff in there and just some makeup brush uh, holders and here's another contour kit that I got uh, why is all this in here this one I did use I believe and I did like it like I would I really played with this and um, it was a good one. Oh, there it is, open. It's the cream uh, concealing correct. And I looked up all the colors and how to use them. And as you can see, I used a lot of the yellow. But I never did touch the contours because I don't think I knew how to use them. And uh, yeah, here's all the little sponges and stuff that came with them. But this is so old that it probably needs to go in the trash. So I'm gonna clean out this drawer and then I already have scarves in here. I think these are just bigger scarves, but y'all look at this. This is a shame. I'm so embarrassed to even show you all this. Why am I holding on to all of these dirty beauty blenders? Oh my goodness. Look at this huge bottle of perfume. It's about as big as, it's bigger than my hand. I can't believe I used that whole thing. There's still a little bit left in there, but um, then I also have this huge bottle of, I really like this black opium. It smells really good, but why am I holding on to the empty bottle? I mean, I could see using it for decor, but I don't know why I stuck it in this drawer. I know a lot of times I used to like to hold on to the bottles so that I knew which perfumes worked for me. This one definitely didn't. I didn't like that one. So I don't really trash. But um, this uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue, I just, I mean, I know I used it all, but I really did not like it. I probably used it because I felt like I spent a lot of money on it. But you know, I have all these perfume samples and I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a light. But um, yeah, I don't know why I'm not doing anything with these. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is I just put the scars that I use less in my big cape 
in this bottom drawer. I put all of my scarves and hopefully that'll shut and not get caught. All of the scarves that I usually use in this drawer. And then I'm gonna use this one to put, I have to reverse here, <laughs> my hats in. Um, I did want to say that once I get done with this little process that, um, I'm going to have to move to my master closet because, uh, the person who's doing our renovation said that it would be best if I took everything out of my master closet. And if you have seen my master closet, that is going to be a bigger chore than this closet. So I'm going to do what I can in this closet. And then I'll probably have to move on to that other closet and see what all I need or don't need. But I'm going to try to work on this as much as I can because the other closet, my husband's going to have to help me with that. He doesn't know that yet, but gonna have to help me because there's no way I can do all that just shows you how much clothes I have I was gonna tell you all that um, these, these little triggers that I have with Ulta they sent me an email for 20% off and I've run out here like I'm running really low but as you can see, I still have a lot of that one. So I thought to myself, I'm just going to replace that one because it's okay for me to replace well, stuff. Um, the more I thought about it, I thought, well, I said I didn't want to be wasteful. <laughs> and if I get that perfume, I'm not going to use that other one. And I like that other one too. In fact, I wore it today and, you know, I'm real particular about scents. So, um, you know, that one's going to work out fine. I need to use it and so I was so proud of myself I got an email like at six or seven o'clock in the afternoon and boy they they like pressure you sometimes and it said your coupons about to expire you better go in there and use it and I thought you know and usually I'm like oh no I better you know but this time I was like no another one will come along soon so I'm I just I just didn't and I'm finding that strength daily of just not wanting to want things and to make sure that I'm using the things that I do have. And, and it's been good. It's been a good feeling and it's been a good process for me. Okay, so here's all this. I put the caps that I use the most in the front and then the caps that I use the least kind of towards the back and then my Baker Boy hats, my my beret <laughs> and my gloves all here. So that'll go right in there and um, that'll help keep all of this stuff in here because that's what I want is I want all my stuff together. I don't want to have to be looking for it or for it to be separated. So, I decided a while back to put my casual shoes in here. And as you can see, I have tons of belts. And so I put my extra belts in here, the ones I hardly use, which I should just get rid of them. And then this, oh, what happened here? And all of my scarves are in this one. And like I said, y'all, you don't need like, to go to the if you have old shoe boxes just use that so i use those there and then i just kind of put like my flip flops and all of that stuff in here um and then i have all of my brush cases which like you saw i found some in the drawer and um so i'm going to organize these and then um I have some purses hanging in here as well. I don't know if I showed you all that, but I just have them hanging. Like if I want to go on a dinner date with my husband and I want something small, of course, my mini pochette has really taken the show away because I use it or this one. 
and so I really don't use anything else and you know I really should get rid of it but I really like this purse here I remember I bought it at Ross Ooh, hat. and um, I remember thinking that it looked like a Chloe purse <laughs> that's why I got it but I don't hardly ever use it in fact it's getting dusty in here and then I have my old, old coach crossbody. Okay, that hat just doesn't want to stay. You're not the show. You're not in the show. Okay, and then here's my... My husband bought me this for Valentine's Day the first year that we were together. So in 2013. So I hate to get rid of it. I like this little charm. It's cute. But it broke. Um, it had like a different handle and it broke and I got it fixed once and it broke again so I just left it hanging there it cost like almost $500 and just is hanging there doing nothing um, back here I just have like my my bigger belt and I just put this in a little box I think it was a Sephora box and they fit in there perfectly and then my Louis Vuitton boxes back there. So yeah, I'm trying to get organized in here and bring some order to this closet because it definitely needs it. I tried it. to organize these as best I could just to kind of make some space. And although I probably should throw a lot of these away, <laughs> I'm not just yet. But I put all of the shoes that I normally wear up here. And then my new Sperry's that I just bought uh, last year. And then now I'm just going through all my wallets. Like I have these wallets. Like this one goes with that um, purse that had that same type of hardware. My husband bought me this Michael Kors wallet with the with that suede purse and then that studded purse that that other wallet goes with is right there and i showed it in my other decluttering video and then i also have this red michael kors wallet that uh i also have the purse to there. it right there. and um yeah so i have a lot of makeup bags and I just would always buy a wallet. Every time I bought a purse, I would buy a wallet. And so I have this Kenneth Cole. I have another Steve Madden. This one's a Steve Madden. So I have two Steve Madden, which I don't know why I couldn't. I think I just saw this one and I liked it for that purse. And then I have this one. I remember I used to love this wallet because it was so huge. Look how big it is, y'all. And it just holds so many cards and so much stuff. And I know it looks it looks big. And I even think you could clip something there and put it on your as a wristlet. But I used to like this thing and now I don't even use it. I think I bought it to go with that bag there. And then I have this one. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know. So I've had all these wallets for a while. Um, as I mentioned before, I have thought about selling my purses. And I'm really going to have to just make that decision sooner than not. Just because, you know, I just don't have the room. But I also thought about getting rid of some of my... Um, belts as I mentioned I have some back there that um, are a lot of Brighton and that's why I don't throw them out y'all because they, they're they're name brand belts like they're Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, Brighton stuff like that so that's why I don't get rid of or throw any of this stuff I keep I don't know thinking that one day I'm gonna <sighs> do something with them Okay, I don't know if this was a good decision or not, <laughs> but I decided to put that up there 
just so that I could have these purses down here and maybe not have them as <sighs> squished. I think once I'm able to move like some of this stuff back into my master closet that I'll have more room. But I was just looking at my little Aldo purse. Y'all look at how brand new it is. I think I used it a couple of times. And it's just been, and I hate that it's getting, like, look, I hate that it's getting so bent, out of shape. And then I had um, this one as well, which, you know, it's kind of dusty, but um, I just haven't used it either. And it's brand new inside, no stains or anything. So I'm going to try to just put the little um flatter bags like maybe like these on there on this thing and then just try to have the others standing up or something is what i'm thinking i want to do but i did go through all of this stuff briefly just going through and seeing what maybe I didn't want and up there too and honestly y'all it was only like a few things so um I know I cleared this out before and I actually had this stuff kind of hanging I think I've listed this stuff on Poshmark but I had it just you know um hanging out there and um hanging out underneath there and I just need to get it out of this closet and let go of it once for all once and for all I know that I had it under there thinking well if it doesn't sell I'll just wear it <laughs> but um definitely gonna try to get it out of my closet okay yeah I think that worked out good because I was able to move all of my coats over so I really like that. And like I said, all of this is going to be going into my master closet once it's done. So this is just for now. Um, I think it worked out to put the purses on the floor. And that way they're not squished. Now I need to probably get something to put in them so they're not so uh, squished like that. But hopefully I'll find something to get in there, to put in there. So, um, I know my clot, my closet, my closet, my coat closet. <laughs> I know it seems excessive when you look at it, but this, y'all, I have had these coats for... A long long time I mean I have built these up for over the last few years of my professional career so it's not just something that I you know got in one shopping stop I have bought these and some of them are cheap some of them are expensive some of them you know, just fall in between, or I got a good bargain, you know, it's just, anyway, I put that up there, I'm not sure what I want to put in it, maybe if I get, uh, I don't know, some extra gloves or something, maybe I'll put in there, or I doubt it, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to put in there, I just put it there for now, okay, I am done in here, guys. What I did was I just went ahead and put my extra Louis Vuitton boxes in that for now. In fact, I put a lot of empty boxes in there from, you know, just different jewelry and stuff that I had. I went ahead and put those bags up there. And I kept those boxes to my boots for now. They're not in there. I keep them in my master closet just because I use those more. But I do like that I gave myself more room here. Now what I went ahead and did in this drawer is I packed all of my... I put in here like all of my little 
brush holders and travel bags that I use to um, put in my Louis Vuitton when we're gonna go somewhere. And I also put, put this little uh, beauty blender thing that I bought so that I can remember to take. And these are just empty uh, containers that I can use to put stuff in when I travel. I think I have a third one somewhere that I need to go ahead and put in there. So all of this is travel stuff. So I think that's the end of this room. I think the decluttering of my jewelry box has worked and um, everything on my vanity is good. And uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with my desk the way um, I have it decorated and stuff. I think um, I keep all my YouTube stuff there home. And um, yeah, I think that until I take these things out or move them or whatever I'm gonna do on this side, it's just gonna stay empty. We're getting rid of that stuff. I'm putting it in my husband's shop. So, yeah, I think I've come to a closure with this room, which is As awesome. As I mentioned, I am going to have to go ahead and move into my master closet so that we can get all of that clothes out of there. I don't know where I'm going to put it. And, you know, I'm going to have to plan my outfits probably for the week, even though he said it was only going to take two days to do the what he's going to do in there, <laughs> take the tub out and put the wall and everything. It's only going to take um, two and a half days, I think he said. So I'm sure it's going to take me some time to put that clothes back in there. And I'm going to do a video before he starts so that I remember where everything goes. And I'm just really excited about um, moving my vanity in there and uh I don't know I'm kind of liking the way this room looks now <laughs> now that it's clean and functional and of course most of my videos I do record in here and so that's why I keep all of my um equipment in here and my um camera and my uh ring light and all of that stuff is in here so um i did want to take this out so that i would have more room to do my videos but we shall see what happens and once it, that's complete so that's going to be done like towards the end of the month and then uh yeah i can start arranging everything the way i want it but I, the doing the closet and doing this vanity and my jewelry box everything i'm glad it's already done and like i said for me i like to take pictures so that i remember where everything's at so that i can put it back where it goes once i'm done oh yo i was sweating i was hot <laughs> cleaning is no joke i mean it's maybe i haven't started exercising but i'm definitely getting a workout by cleaning out these rooms so anyway that's the end of my video and um i just wanted to let you all know to remember to enter my giveaway on the other video and i'll link it here and um yeah i'm gonna be doing a giveaway once at the end of every month is what i'm gonna do a giveaway on and it's just different stuff it's not going to be anything in particular it's just going to be different stuff and, um, you know, I'm not buying anything for me, but if I see something that I think would be a good giveaway, you know, I think it's, it's going to be a good thing to invest in you all. So anyway, thank you for watching and please like, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.